pretty misty, eh, Torina? Yeah. So we're driving to our destination, and this is this is what the conditions are like. What do they used to call them around here, Torina? The people from here? Oh, the children of the mist. You can see why, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, so misty. And it's quite quiet too. So what is this place, Torina, and what are we doing here? My Cutting Moana Holiday Park. Yep. We are staying here before we go on the Great Wall. Right? Actually, no, I'm going to go here. That rainbow's still there. Looks like Walt and Jesse have been here. Nah, it's just, it's just powdered Powerade. It's not meth, that blue meth. Is that what we've been doing? What are we doing now? Um, we're cooking dinner, so I've got my plate. She's got her plate. And um, I've got the cabbage. And she's got her cabbage. And she's just dropped her phone. And yes, we're going to the kitchen facilities. There's the kitchen facilities over here. There's the Lake Waikare Moana over there. Just in case you didn't know. That's a, that's a weird looking cloud. Mm. Giving it credit, you were at least clean, Kyle. Thanks for that. Double horse. We got food! What is it? I don't know. I don't know. It was a good call. You have to try it. That is super spicy. Is it spicy? Too spicy for you? You might like it. <laughs> How's it going? How's the morning, Tarina? Oh, I'm feeling like I slept pretty well. And we saw uh, um, some Paradise Ducks part partners in uh, their chick this morning. Oh. In the outside the lake. And somebody farted really loud in the middle of the night and, and woke me up. It's a little duckling. So those are paradise ducks. Mm -hmm. So is one a female and the other one a male or something? No All ready to go to the walk. Well, here we are. We're in the car park for the 
Lake Waikari Moana Great Walk. Here's the lake over there, of course, as you can tell. Don't mistake it for the ocean, that's actually a lake. Better weather than we were expecting. Um, well, it didn't say rain. Actually slightly better, but not much better. Not much better, still windy. A little less rain than I thought. A little less rain, but just as much wind. So we are going the right way. <laughs> Trina's got a topo map app. It's $20 to have it offline. And you can follow yourself offline in the map, you see. And we are we the red dot? Yes. Yeah, we're the red dot. And we want to follow the path up here. Near around Sandy Bay there. Yeah. Ooh. Topo maps, eh? <laughs> Wonder if Steve has that. More clearing here. Hmm. He's picked up somewhere. How many hours to our hut? Only five hours. How many? Five hours. Okay, so it's going to take us ten. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take you ten. <sighs> I will. Pretty steep track at the moment, Whew. but uh, it's pretty. Hey. Lots of uphill. Lots of uphill. Oh, way down there somewhere. Oh, I see. Way down there, car park. Uh, yeah. Doesn't feel like, it doesn't look like we've come that far. Oh man. What elevation at the moment, Tarina? Uh, about 750. And what are we climbing to? Um, about 1,100, or just to give or take a while. And we started about 500. Actually, probably closer to 1,200. We started actually. about 500, didn't we? So I've only climbed 250 meters, and we've still got about 350 to go. Yeah, I guess the car Yay! <laughs> this is a cool bit. Walking through like a mini mossy gorge. Eight twenty meters elevation, so we've we've climbed uh, about three hundred and something meters, or three hundred odd meters. Yeah. And please note, I'm talking about elevation. I'm not talking about the distance travels. I'm going. Oh, they've only walked three hundred meters, and they're already. <laughs> Say it again. Now, Is it the, the children of the mist? The Matuhoi. Are you sure that's correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello.
getting a bit misty, eh? Yeah, I have to keep walking, otherwise I need to put my jackets back on. Jeez. Look how misty it is. really windy on one side and really calm on this side. You hear the wind behind me? You guys, you know what we should be singing? Oh. Far over the misty mountains cold. Join in, join in. Okay, you guys are boring. You guys, well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk right past you and I'm not even gonna talk to you for the rest of the hike. Man, check out that mist, eh? Always looks magical and ethereal when you're when the forest is misty. Wow, look down there. Valerian life at the end of the track. Pretty cool, eh? This uh, misty walk. Look at the cloud pouring through there. Oh gee, it's really cold and I've only got a t-shirt on. <laughs> I should probably put a jersey on or something. Wow, what a view! <laughs> what a view! That's sarcasm by the way. You see why they call the people who came from this area the children of the mist. I feel like I need to put my jersey on, or my jacket, or both. Actually, I'm going to just sort of that. Wow, look at that. Huh, there's actually a little bit of snow there. Oh, there's a little bit of snow that's left over. Oh. See? But no, there's actually a couple of bigger bits here I was looking at. So I was right, it did snow up. I, I was right, it did snow up here last week. I told you. No, <laughs> no look, Tarina, here. I can't even see it from here. I wouldn't have spotted that. Look. Oh, there. Did you see it? See? I told you it was snowing last week. It sits on the weather forecast. It's Actually, really hard though. Oh my god, it's ice. <sighs> and of course, since it's the last bit of snow, we have to celebrate by throwing it at Tarina. Oh, <laughs> I know I am. Oh, it's not like my, it's not like that snow in Ruapehu last week, which was all soft and powdery. This is like ice. <laughs> And she's still in the t-shirt. Oh, no, now. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, it's too cold for my hand. I can't wait. Oh. Man, it's so misty up through here. Now, since I threw that other bit of snow at you, you can throw that bit of snow at me, okay? Just don't hit the camera. <laughs> Yeah, just throw this. Not on my face though. Just maybe at my butt or something. 
Oh, you trying to work out how far we've got? Oh no, we were going to look for bald knob. <laughs> bald knob. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad shot. I'm trying to watch the camera screen at the same time. <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Uh, it's too solid. It's too old. It doesn't break up. Whoa, look at that strata there. Are you guys doing stretches? Oh, it's more than stretch. Our muscles will be happy for it tomorrow. Uh huh. I don't believe in stretching, I think it's a load of crap. Oh no, it really is. Load it of crap. Load of crap. Ah, uh, it's raining. Whoa, spooky looking trees. See, we've got a Bit of the geology exposed here, some strata in there. What kind of rock is this? Like some kind of sandstone or something. Oh! You're kidding me! That looks like a fossil! That seriously looks like a fossil! Or at least the imprint of one. Some kind of shell. Some kind of a shell. A mollusk of some kind. It doesn't look like a fossil, it looks like the imprint of one. It looks, it like, looks like a grey wacky. Oh, grey wacky. I thought it was a sandstone, but grey wacky is similar to sandstone, isn't it? And more deeper in the subsurface, more pressure. So you think that's a fossil or? Um, I wouldn't say it's or like imprint, a, I imprint say. of a fossil. Yeah, imprint of a fossil. I yeah. should have seen if I could find the fossil in there. <laughs> it looks more like a grey wacky to me. But I guess like once it dries you can kind of tell a bit more about it. Yeah, it's too fragile. Yeah. Want to go turn? I think it's keep falling down. <laughs> They're too big for me. I got that on camera. Did you? Yep. <laughs> oh, a bunch of steps. Huh. More steps. Oh, I can't do this when I'm holding a camera. Oh, looks like the hut up there. Oh, there's a fair bit of snow there. Ah, oh, we're at the hut. Oh. That was longer than four and a half hours.
somebody who's tried making this one better with a plaster. As you can see, there isn't really much of a view from the hut this evening. Hopefully it clears by tomorrow morning. Still very misty up here. A number of times I've banged my head on the top of these bunks. I tell you, it makes me very grumpy in the middle of the night. Oh, let's have a look at the view today. Well, it's a bit better. It's a lot better. Scrubbing brush for for my um, dishes because the um, taps inside, which are actually pumps, are um, both broken now. A bit of snow there left over. It must have been more recently than a week ago because that was a lot higher um, yesterday. These are the most disgusting long drops I've ever used. Well, I'm not. Yeah, they're pretty, poor, isn't it? Yeah, they're pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a shot of both of them for for the camera. <laughs> Bit more snow that's been left behind there. Wonder how recently it snowed, eh? Five days and five days maybe. Yeah. Five days ago. In, in the in the shelter, that snow can last for a while, but that's that's quite considerable, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that was quite a lot higher yesterday, so it must be it's melting melted, oh, fairly fast. Yeah. 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 This is. Yeah, they did have a cold snap, yeah. Get another shot of the lake while it's sunny. Oh, that's better. That's better. All the, cl all the clouds gone now. Although the cloud did look cool, but it's nice to actually see the, see the lake itself. Tell, tell the story about how you and a couple of other people woke up last night because it's oh, did other people wake up yeah well, yeah that lady woke well, up well adam my brother said fuck off <laughs> there's a pause and then he said oh i was dreaming and so we woke up then the next morning and adam explained what the dream was about apparently a tunny fire had come into the cabin um yeah <laughs> not sure what saying fuck off would you <laughs> <laughs> They are, they're, <laughs> they're magical words full of mana and then tell me if I was like, whoa. <laughs> More really mossy trees. Katrina's tying her shoelaces now. <sighs> Looks different when it's not misty, eh?
Oh yeah. We're still quite high up, aren't we? It's not hot. There's trees and there's a lake. And somewhere down there is a tiny fur that woke me up last night. Okay, okay. I came up with a new song to remind the shot. Why carry moana? The tiny fur wanted to eat me. I told her to F off. <laughs> is that a good one? Why are you pulling that face? You're pulling like a disgusted face. Ah, a teeny tiny little waterfall. Hmm. Look at the big hole at the base of that tree there. Yeah. Well, that tree falling over there. Hello? Any monsters in there? No, I won't be here. Some pretty cool bird song out here. Where is it? Interesting things growing in this rock face here. Looks like some kind of fungus. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. They look like tiny little mushrooms. The water doesn't want to go under the boardwalk, it wants to go over the boardwalk. Look at all the silt deposited by it. <laughs> hmm, interesting. This shows, sign shows me how far to some other hut, but not the hut that uh, I'm heading to. I'm guessing that's the one that we came from. I can't remember the name of it. No, oh, here we go. It was just up the path a bit. Five minutes. Sheesh, some people were doing it that way. The bottom one going straight from the road to this hut here and skipping the Panakitty hut. So that was the one we said at Pan Panakitty. I can see why they probably want to skip that hut. <laughs> wire power. Wire, wire, wire power. Oh, I don't know how to say that. But oh, this way then. Five minutes apparently. Hmm. Not sure what that is. I guess it's for people who want to set up tents and they have to have their, their dinner outside. Here we go. Oh yeah, this looks like a much nicer hut. A couple of paradise ducks there. Boy and a girl. I know that those are boys and girls now. Those colours. Ah, this looks a bit nicer, eh? Yeah. I went for a dip. 
How's the hut? Nicer than the last one. Oh look, they even have a uh, metal grill steps for you to wipe your boots, I guess. Here we go, let's have a look at this hut. Oh, that's much nicer. That is, this is a really nice hut. That's much better than the last one. If I ever do this again, maybe I'll do the nine hour thing and just skip that last hut. <laughs> They've even got some information panel on here. Have a look at these hut, um, thanks. Oh, they've even got seating on the other side. And they've got lights. Or is that just a, um, is that other? Solar just, so, Oh, I see, solar things. Oh, okay. Jeez, this hut's really nice, eh? Mm. How many bunks are there? There's quite a few, eh? And they've even got, like, little hangy things. Oops. The other ones. This is a nice hut too. I mean, um, um, unit, cabin, whatever you call it. <laughs> they've, they've even got an exit sign in case you get confused about um, which way to go out and you try climbing out a window or something. <laughs> Let's have a look at this, at this lake. So it must be a little beach here. Oh here it is. Nice little beach. Just for us. <laughs> really white sand. I'm used to the um, black sand of the west coast. The black volcanic sand. So it's uh, nice to see some white sand once in a while. Look at that. Just imagine what that will be like in the morning. Is. The problem is you have to stay under, otherwise the stand, the black flies start biting. Lovey, lovey, lovey. something shiny at the bottom of a lake and it was a dead fish. Ugh. Besides a dead fish and a quite a cold breeze, that's actually not bad. It's, a, it's a, um, not too cold, it's refreshing. Uh, yeah, but that breeze isn't great. I think I might get out now. There, a couple of the guys heard thunder earlier, so we might not be in for such a great night. I was hoping to get a nice sunset shot of the lake, but that might have to wait. But uh, yeah, the uh, friend that we just met from Colorado is staying in a tent, so that's not going to be so good for him. Uh, speaking of which, um, we met a lot of um, interesting people on this um, hike. A lot of people with. Uh, that's always the thing with um, hiking in New Zealand, especially the great, the great walks, although this is only the second one I've done, is that you always meet lots of interesting people. We've met somebody from, we've met a couple from Ireland, um, there's a guy in there who's from Huddersfield in the United Kingdom, which is close to where they filmed this television series, Last of the Summer Wine. Um, a girl from Portugal, um, the guy who is staying out in the tent, of course, is from Colorado in the US. they all got interesting stories. Um, I don't know. That was definitely thunder. I guess he's staying out in the tent tonight. It's gonna be brilliant. <laughs> don't mind being on camera? Nah, it's all good. <laughs> I just got my boots sitting outside the tent so I don't stink it up. Oh. I think I'm gonna wanna move them. Yeah, you probably wanna go out and grab those. Yeah.
Go rescue your boots. <laughs> it's got magic in it. Yeah. Oh, was that oh, right now? you what, I'm really glad that we're not hiking in this. I'm really glad that this has happened now and not earlier. Look at that. And we're getting we're getting thunder rolling. It was lightning before, I think I caught it on camera. Enjoying your book? Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, the camera's on out. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Do you, uh, you just film like everything that you're uh, hiking by or? Yeah. Yeah, very good. How was your day? It was very um, relaxing. Ah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for sleep now? Uh, probably. Sounds like your body else is. Ready. <laughs> Let's get a look at the lake in the morning. Oh, <laughs> some people already out here. <laughs> Just had a maintenance crew turn up to get it ready for the get the area ready for the uh, great walk season. It's uh, something of a saying of mine that no matter where you go in New Zealand, there is always somebody with a hedge trimmer, and uh, turns out it's true because we're right in the middle of the Tiurawera Forest, and uh, some maintenance guys have just turned up with a hedge trimmer. So <laughs> no matter where you go in New Zealand, even if it's in the middle of the biggest forest of the North Island. There's always somebody with a hitch trim. Oh well, it has to be done. They're doing maintenance to prepare this little area for the uh, Great Walk season, which is sort of October until um, until April. Oh yeah. But yeah, at least the sun's come up, so it's giving us a bit of a bit of excuse me, bit of view now. Yeah, that looks really nice with the sun that like, um, poking its head over the top. It's still a bit dark. Looks like some fishermen uh, have come in to do a bit of fishing obviously. Um, yeah so I was talking to a, to a couple of those maintenance guys and uh, they're actually from uh, the Tuhoi uh, uh, and uh, Tuhoi are in partnership with Doc to look after the um, Wakari Moana 
I like my cutting more on a great walk. Um, so yeah, those uh, guys aren't from Dock, they're actually from Tuhoi. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Wherever the entry point for that. Is that that boat? It is. What a noisy boat. It's been a rather noisy morning for um, the middle of a forest. <laughs> but it's a very beautiful morning though. Clear as. It really is a lovely morning. Not hot, not cold. Uh, just a real beautiful spring morning. You can hear a kingfisher calling in the background there, New Zealand Kingfisher. This is a really beautiful morning. You know, I've noticed one thing about this walk. Everybody we've met has been really friendly. Oh, that's what <laughs> I said earlier. Because <laughs> on some other walks, um, people can be a bit sort of, uh, they don't really want to talk to you, but it must be the magic of this place. Something well, about Waikari Moana. <laughs> What's that? I feel like COVID has changed people's mindset. They're like excited to see some strangers. Oh, okay. <laughs> so maybe strangers aren't so bad after all. <laughs> As, so long as they aren't a psychopath with a knife. The only thing with these um, ones low down that are flat is that the water is able to collect and make all these big muddy patches. Eh? Another glimpse of the lake. Tarina, what is all this grass here? What's all this grass to your right? I don't know, I'm not very good at it. Oh. You need Esther. Oh, I need Esther. Esther so I'm the one for bugs, Esther's the one for plants, Mum's the one for birds, and Manisha's the one for rocks. <laughs> and Stephanie's the one for fixing stuff when it gets broken. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mud, mud, glorious mud. Hmm. Mud, mud, mud. Actually, this is quite dry mud. It's not so bad. Oh, this is our friend from Colorado. How was it? Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Is it much so, further up? What's that? Is it much further up? Oh, uh, yeah, it actually is as far as it, like, advertises on this one. Oh, really is? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I ended up going uh, the wrong way. So oh, okay, like, so it took you longer. I the waterfall instead of overlooking it. We can all, you can always just jump in this one instead. Yeah, this one. <laughs> That's this one all right. Like that one's all right. This is uh, what you hold on to as you cross the cross. <laughs> Guy falls into Greek, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Viral video. Guy falls into the Greek, breaks leg, hilarious. <laughs> no. I'm the most likely to fall, sir. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, this guy's doing it with a um, uh, bad knee. Is it a bad knee or a bad muscle? Bad knee. Yeah. Bad knee. Oh. Ruptured ACL. <laughs> Hi boys. Down two ligaments. 
So who wants to go viral? <laughs> <laughs> not, for, not for the sake of my phone. <laughs> oh, you got your phone. Yeah, that's uh, kind of dumb in that. Are you going to swim it there? Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty wheelie, cheap. man. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap! I ain't swimming in that! Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be that big. That is not a swimmable waterfall. It's quite a way down anyway. How rough it is down here, though. Oh, I'm not swimming in there. I'm not quite that brave. You're not what? You're not swimming in there. I'm not there. quite that brave. Oh. I can swim in it. Spectacular sight. Well, it's swimming in there. No, it's just like watching it. Oh. Guy falls in, breaks leg. Hilarious. Viral video. It's actually really cold. in there probably lagging behind the others right now but sometimes you just gotta you just gotta sit and soak in the tranquility. Come on Adam, you what? need to get going. They're, they're telling me I'm not allowed to film because it makes them take longer. Well you can be a little bit slow today but you still look bad to be I'm gonna be really slow tomorrow and then we're gonna have to walk all the way back to Hamilton.
you would have to go all the way back to Hamilton. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to gap it. <laughs> Hello, it looks like we've come up to that campsite. Interesting. Osman's Lodge, private property. Oh, it's somebody's house. Oops. <laughs> Thirty minutes apparently. Oh, that's our hut. Photo? Just on my crappy camera. Two minutes apparently. I bet you it'll take us longer. <laughs> Looks fairly. Looks like it's fairly comfy. Hi, Oh, this one's not so bad. Still better than that first one, eh? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's nice. They've, in fact, they've cleaned it with an whisk. They've cleaned it. Yeah, kitchen's not bad either. Apparently, the crew came through and cleaned up this one um, recently as well. Today or yesterday, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a this is a bad hut. It's fairly comfy. What do you guys think of the weather? It's like okay while I'm here. <laughs> taxi at 2 o'clock I think so we're gonna leave as early as we can so it's 5.30 right now or just after 5.30, 5.40 maybe oh I'm I'm not really feeling it to be honest so it's about quarter past 6 in the morning Look at those flies coming from all of a sudden. Uh, it's a bit chilly. Bit of mist around. Where are those damn flies coming from? Spooky. I missed that on the way in.
the sun has just risen. Goodbye, hut. Quite dark in the forest at this time of morning, eh, Tarina? view way through here. Bridge collapse here. <laughs> Must have been the stream got real high at some point and what? Oh, I don't know. Washed it away maybe? I don't know. Oh, silly spider. Right in the middle of the track. Oh well. Uh, down we go. Still there? Yep, still there. There's the other hut that we did not stay in, that we could have stayed in if we'd wanted to. Walk a couple of more hours yesterday. Hey, there's two, two of them. Oh yeah. And there's the reason I'm wanting to stop here. Toilets. Okay, go, go, <laughs> go, quickly. These ones do not stink at all. I'm really impressed. This is a really flash hut too. This is probably the flashest one we've come across. 
If I ever do it again, I'll come from the other way and stat this one. <laughs> Got a good view as well. Yeah, they're really flash huts. So that's the kitchen and that's the cabins. Check this out. Throughout New Zealand, the Kiwi is under threat. The local population, I'm guessing the population around Lake Waikati Moana, has declined by 90% over the last 80 years. 90% over the last 80 years. So that means 80 years ago there was 10 times as many Kiwi in this area as what there are now. That's crazy. Chicks are killed before they are big enough to fend for themselves. The main culprit is the introduced stoat. Other significant critters are dogs, pigs, cats, ferrets and possums, or cats, cat and dog owners don't like it when you say that cat and dogs do naughty things. Oh like... so yeah, that means that during the Second World War, there were ten times as many Kiwi uh, around this area, Lake Waitakari Moana area I guess is what they are today. That is crazy. 90% of the Kiwi population has um, died out around here since the Second World War. Think about that. Hmm, e interesting. Kiwi dispersal fence. Hmm. What exactly do they mean by dispersal fence? Kiwi management of a project. Ah, oh, here we go. The purpose of this temporary dispersal fence is to stop juvenile kiwi from leaving the peninsula stoke control area. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like a protective fence. Oh, I see. That makes sense. It's electrified too. I'm gonna zap the damn stoats. Mm. Lovely bush that way. Love that dappled light on the forest floor. Mm. Have a good walk, guys. Yeah. Thanks, mate. So it's a bit lot closer than we thought. Does it mean we need to go any slower? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Having a one hour break? Chilling one hour break. One hour to go. <laughs> I might see you there. <laughs> there. <laughs> the track is flooded. to walk through mud. I'm not sure what that is. Whether that's a fruit or a fungus, I don't know. 
some kind of fruit or some kind of fungus? It's like a fungus. Or is it a fruit that's come off a tree? No, I think it's a fungus. I don't think it looks like a fruit. Could be some kind of seed pod. Well, I guess that's what fruit is, isn't it? It's the encasing seeds. Oh, oh well. We're at the end. Oh, oh, does it say water taxi? Oh, yeah, water taxi. Oh, so it meets us down there, does it? Okay, I just want to film one more thing before the video ends. There's another hut here. Hmm. What's the name of this hut? Hey! Hey! <laughs> we made it! Honganui hut. Yep, it made it. My my sanity didn't though. <laughs> Film you got in that thing? Um, I've got 12 minutes of data left. Okay. <laughs> How much did it start with? Um, I, I don't know actually, probably about three or four hours. Oh, oh way over there. I'll have to zoom in. <laughs> you can just wait. Just like yeah. Trend is the last to get off. Got the right setting for it.
That's Flower of Scotland. Yeah. Now that's a good way to end your video. <laughs> okay. With the piper. Lone piper. Oh, I'll, I'll get a shot of the sunset with the lone piper, eh? Go back to the thing and get the coffee, but don't you have the coffee? Your sleep, your sleep hormones is confused. To what? Coffee. <laughs> yep. There he is. I think a shot of those mountains up there uh, is. Is, is what suits the bike the best. Goodbye to my viewers. Say something. You can say it in Māori if you want. I don't know. I'm too tired. How do you say goodbye in Māori? Is it hi there, oh, That's if someone's leaving. Oh. Say to the viewers, you could say kakite anō. What does that mean? See you again. Okay, say that then. Kakite anō. <laughs>